Today we're making an easy, no fuss, ooey gooey honey mustard salmon dinner and we're doing it all in one pan. Let's get cooking. What makes this dinner no fuss is that we're actually going to cook our veggies and our salmon in little parchment and tinfoil packets, so cleanup is going to be a breeze. The first thing we'll do is cut four pieces of parchment and tinfoil because we're making four servings. We'll preheat our oven to 425 degrees and we'll start to get everything prepped. What's really nice about this recipe is you can use any veggie that your family likes. I'm actually gonna use some sweet potatoes, some zucchini from the garden, some red onions, and then we'll top all of that with our beautiful salmon. Let's get our potatoes prepped. First, I'm going to peel the skin. This is totally optional. I just like it better. Then we'll slice them into thin rings, about a quarter inch thick. Then we'll season up our potatoes, a little olive oil, black pepper, and some salt. I'm using about a quarter teaspoon. Quick toss. We want to make sure that all parts of the potato are coated with the olive oil, and then we'll start to build our packets. I use two large sweet potatoes, and I'm dividing them into four equal parts for four servings of our dinner. Creating little dinner packets like this in French is actually called en papillot. I probably butchered that word. I don't know exactly how it translates, but to me, it just means easy cleanup. I'm gonna get these packets folded up and the potatoes cooking because they will take a little bit longer than everything else. While they cook, we'll prep all of the veggies and our salmon. The tin foil is actually optional, but I think it holds everything together really nicely. So we'll just put the sides in. I'll tell you one thing, you can give me this birthday present any day of the week. Little packages, goodness. And we'll pop these in the oven. Now we'll prep the rest of the veggies, a little red onion. I think we're only gonna need half the red onion for these packets, but I'm gonna cut up the whole onion and just pop it in the fridge for when I need it later in this week. And that's just a great tip. While my cutting board, my knife is dirty, why not prep a little veg? We'll put about half the red onion in the same bowl that we seasoned our potatoes. We'll prep our zucchini. We'll probably only use about a quarter of this. A little bit more black pepper, salt. We season every layer of our meal. Another eighth to a quarter teaspoon. Olive oil, or any neutral high smoke point cooking oil you like. We'll pop the sauce to the side and we'll get the sauce ready for the salmon. For the sauce, two cloves of garlic. We're gonna pop these right in the food processor to mince them up. Quick little mince. Then a little mild pepper mustard from Byler's. I am in love with this mustard product. I've used it to dip chicken tenders, pretzels, I've put it on sandwiches. Really, really versatile. And one thing you'll notice about this mustard is that beautiful yellow color. And in contrast to some brands on the market that are using artificial dyes, you're never gonna find that in Byler's products. Turmeric is what makes this so bright and beautiful and yellow. Mm, it's so pungent, but you get those sweet little peppers in there. Really, really nice. So about half a cup, about a quarter cup of honey. Your favorite honey will do. And the juice from one orange. Fun fact about citrus, it can actually perk you up. So if you don't want to have another cup of coffee, you just snip on some citrus and we mix. Let's pull out the potatoes. Lots of sizzling going on in here. We'll let those cool down for a minute and then we'll open up those tinfoil packets and add the rest of our ingredients. Salmon is such a rich source of vitamin D. In three ounces of salmon, you're getting just under the daily recommended value of vitamin D for people ages two to 70. And what's really neat about salmon is it's a fatty fish, and vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin, so when you eat salmon, you're giving yourself a perfect little environment to absorb your vitamin D. I bought this fresh salmon, this is about two pounds, so I'm gonna cut four, three to four ounce servings, and then I'll freeze the rest for a later date. And now we'll build our packets. We'll carefully open each little packet, add our zucchini, some of the onion, and then we'll top each little packet with our salmon and our honey mustard sauce. You wanna spread your sauce out in an even layer over the salmon. It's okay if it drips down to the veggies, just more seasoning. And now with this extra sauce, this cannot be eaten raw because we've used the spoon that touched the salmon to go back and forth. We can pop this in a little saucepan to thicken up and then add it to the side of our meal. I like to top each little packet off with some freshly dried parsley. This is from my garden last year. But you can use fresh herbs if you have those on hand. Now that our packets are all wrapped up, we're gonna cook this for about 20, 25 minutes until the salmon is opaque and flaky. They're looking really good. A little toasty. All right, let's open one up. Oh my gosh, perfectly cooked salmon, awesome. Let's transfer one of these to a plate. Get a bite of everything on here. A little zucchini, a little sweet potato, a little onion. Look at that, the perfect bite. The salmon is perfect. It's juicy, it's moist, it's flaky. You get the sweet potato, plus that a little bit crunchy on the veggies. They're not overdone, not mushy, which is absolutely perfect. That sauce, 
the pungent mustard, the sweet honey. It plays so nicely off the sweet potato, which is a little starchy. The veggies, which are not overdone, they're just perfectly cooked. This is gonna be in the rotation weekly in my house. And when it's time to clean up, bing, bang, boom. For the full recipe, head to bylersrelishhouse.com. That's also where you can snag your jar of the mild pepper mustard to make this recipe. Take care, everybody.